downtown Hobstadt, Indiana. Reiki. At Indiana Knives. Indiana Knives, here it is. I like yep. how you said downtown because look at how busy this downtown is. It's a metropolis. <laughs> no, it's a small town. Yeah, it really is. Eric, the owner, mm -hmm. actually lives here. He said he lives um, like a block away or something, mm -hmm. walking distance. No, oh, here it is. He said golf, golf carts. You get to go everywhere in golf carts or four wheelers. Which that's is cool. that's uh, legal here and yeah. not uncommon to see. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Well, there's some of the brands that he's got. Just a few. I know he's got a lot of knives. We'll check it out. Okay. Go around. I got it. <laughs> Here we go. There's Eric. How's it going? How's it going? Here's the store. All right, it's a smaller store, but you got a lot of knives in here. It has everything that you need. Yeah, and more, mm -hmm. probably. All right, cool. I'm seeing a lot of the different brands. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna to wanna to start. There's a variety of everything. Should when did you, uh, well, I was just gonna say, Eric, when did you move into this location? I moved here in the beginning of 2020. I was up in Bloomington before that for yeah, we, several years. And we visited the old store that was in inside the gun shop. Yep, and yeah. when everything shut down in 2020, I decided to move back to my hometown, so All set right. up shop here. All right. The, uh, the Wicked Edge Sharpener. I noticed that uh, you've got the sign out front that you do sharpening. Yep, do, do a little you, bit of sharpening. Do you uh, get a lot of that business uh, locally here? Occasionally, yeah. It's yeah. just something to help fill my time. <laughs> I had originally looked at the Wicked Edge, but at the time I was thinking it was a little more expensive, a little bit more, uh, I don't know. It's fancy. It is fancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We, we went with the KME. Yeah. yeah. I just like being able to do both sides at the same time and then you can adjust angles uh -huh. pretty quickly with that. But if you're just sharpening a handful of knives, yeah, there's cheaper options to go to for sure. Yeah, but. yeah. I know uh, every time I see somebody using the Wicked Edge at any of the shows, they look like a... It's such a skill. Yeah. yeah. They look like you such a hot shot. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So okay, pay cool. attention. I've, Got myself pretty good a couple times, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look, All right. here's a collection of pens right here. Why are you yeah. looking at pens? Well, because it's my birthday. And that's what you get me for my Don't birthday. Don't tell everybody Valentine's it's your birthday. Day. It's officially her birthday today. It is officially it's my birthday. It's been your birthday month all month. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I celebrate it month long. No, I'm going to tell you, let's look at knives, mm -hmm. not pens. Isn't that crazy? Yes, I need to get a knife also, along to go with my pen. Mm -hmm. Well, what's under the glass there? I see some ZTs, some spider Spydercos. Yep, I've got a handful of ZTs, quite a few spider codes. Yeah. Stock mm -hmm. as many as I can. Yeah. All right. What's the oldest ZT that you have still here? Let's see. Ooh. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I just got out our uh, 301 the other day. Yeah, the you Tiger did. Stripe 301. Mm -hmm. I posted it on Instagram. They've had the 0562. I've had that in stock since I very first started. Yeah, it's okay. My shop, but yeah, that one's probably my favorite from ZT. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I saw some over there too. There's some of my favorites in that one. Oh, there's another. Another ZT case over here. Yeah, Am I walking this way? You can never go wrong with a 450. That was your favorite. It still is. They haven't made anything like this yet again. So I just still love this knife. You had two at I one point. I had three. Did you? Yeah. Are we just down to one now? Yeah. Uh -huh. The uh, the carbon fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I, I can't. Get rid of that. I love that. Nice Sinkovich design. Above it is the 452. Yeah, this has always been one of your favorites. But I didn't have, that. yeah, I didn't have this specific scale pattern, but mm -hmm. I had, uh, I think I still have it. What is this carbon fiber called? Uh, just, just a red, the red, red carbon, carbon fiber. Red carbon fiber, yeah. special name. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Somehow I might remember that. Oh, and we, I think we had That's this another Sinkovich, isn't it? Mm hmm. I forget the model number, but. 462. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the action on that one. It's a little bit different style than a normal carry or anything, but uh -huh. um, it's definitely one of my favorite actions from CT. Do you know the price offhand? I do not. I think they're around 300, 320. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is a newer one. We have this at home. The we? 707. Super thin. I never carry it. I know. I don't either. <laughs> I kind of forget about it. There's a lot of knives that we have that we don't carry. We I have a few knives. I don't want to admit that, though. I know. Well, it's <laughs> All right. Oh, look. 
I thought I saw this. Tactile turn. Are those all pens? Yep, these are all pens. I think I have one pencil in there, but wow. got the little 8-bit series. Does that one look familiar? Yes, I just got this one. Four See the last round. video? Yeah. Do you I actually like it though? I do actually like it. I okay. promise I actually do like it. Yeah. It's way better than the Microtech pen. <laughs> way better. Than the, uh, than the siphon pen. Yes, yeah. that thing's just ugly. These are nice looking. <laughs> And what are you selling that for, uh, this this particular model, say? So the 8-bit ones are a little bit more, they're around 150 and yeah. the standard titanium and copper ones are right at 100 Okay, I should have bought, I should have bought the pen through yeah. Eric, through Indiana uh -huh. Knives. But look, that's, you said that you got the full-size one and this is the Mini? Uh, the this difference? one, yeah, yeah it's okay. the Mini. Yeah. There's the Mini, the Short, and the Standard. Oh, so there's one even smaller than this? It's the short there small? There should be one in between that one and the oh, standard. Okay. Okay. See, I don't knife, even know my pins that well. You will. I think you're going to get into I it. I will? No, I think you will. Look at this. A knife store has titanium pins. Oh, they, so... They, you're going to find them in the same place. Pencils. I do kind of like pencils. They have a, <laughs> is it titanium pencil? Yes. Okay, that is going to be... I wasn't aware of this. Okay, yeah, let's good. show everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you just... Oh, okay. Does it just take regular wood? Mm -hmm. <laughs> regular wood. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm Lead. trying to think of what Lead. it used to be, like the brand. I used to always have mechanical pencils in school. Yeah. Whatever. Been a while since I've used a mechanical pencil. <laughs> yeah. I have just a regular pencil that I use for my paintings a lot. Okay. Oh, All right. Funny. Well, it's a knife video. Next time, I need to get a mechanical pencil. <laughs> oh, there okay. we go. This will uh, okay. this would be a good display. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we're seeing some bench mates yeah, up here. Look at those. Some bug outs, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, are these colors all available? Do you you get some special? Um, you get some. Well, what's the term? Early right? access. Early access, but <laughs> some. I can't even think of the word, Frankie. The specialty models. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah. the special editions. Special editions. That's uh -huh. what I'm trying to come up with. But I think these ones are open to everybody, but they're just a limited color run, right? Yep. So I think those should be running through the end of the year at least. Um, but yeah, they did a few different colors of bug outs and mini bug outs as well. And then uh -huh. also the new shootouts in two different colors. Now. Oh, the shootout. Now those OTFs. I remember, mm -hmm. very lightweight. I I love this blue and what color do they color call this? Uh, I think that's an FD. Okay. These things are so light. Look at this that. is USA made. Yep. Yeah. Feel that. What do the bug out bug outs? What do the shootouts start at? So there's the standard shootout that they've done in the past, and I think those are around two seventy, two eighty, and then the new ones are three fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love they, that color combo. Just in the uh, back end of it a little bit, so they've got this little lanyard loop instead of a glass breaker on them now. Mm -hmm. so. Slightly less tactical. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want the white. I don't know. It looks really cool, but it would get really dirty easily. Yeah. So. Not sitting in a knife case like we would have it. Yeah. Uh, for years and years, but. Yeah, and the blade colors are a little bit different. Yeah, it's they like are. Tan uh -huh. versus an FDE, but. Yeah. Well, and then this one against these ones is a little bit different too. Yeah, I think the colors like can all. kind of vary a little bit with uh, between batches and stuff. Yeah. But. yeah. Okay, let's. I know people are looking at this knife too. Oh yes. No, we saw one. We handled one at just this last blade show Atlanta. Uh -huh. yeah, What's the model name? The Narrows, I think, isn't it? Yep. Okay. The Narrows. Narrows, and it is, it is narrow. Yes, it's very narrow. And slim. Look at it. It's like a bug out. But titanium, so there's no. Oh, it's not like a bug out. It's thin. It's thin like a bug <laughs> but out. But it's even thinner yeah, than a bug is. out. Yeah. It's lighter. It feels like too. But look at that. Wow. Whew. Let me. Uh, Don't hold it. You'll fall in love with it. It's nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It has a little bit different mechanism too. What is the blade steel? It's in 390 on the. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm afraid to ask, but everybody's gonna want to know. What's the price? What's the price? So map pricing on those is five twenty two, wow. I believe. Yeah. yeah. It is now nice. is that what you expect to sell it for? Or I mean So that's just the standard rate that so there's the retail price that I think is five fifty or something like that. And oh. the map price that um, all dealers can sell for is 
ten percent off of that full retail price. Okay. All right. Well, yes, I want one, but we're not leaving with it. Do you want a pink pink bug out? I mean, I wouldn't say no. It's like mauve. His and hers. hers. Yeah. Oh. Some sea foam See. colors and stuff. Yeah. Going out. I probably like the sea foam more. And this orange looks really similar to the other one. Don't we have an orange one? It's a little bit different. I'm gonna just compare it to this one over here. It's so another glass you guys can case. See that it's very similar. It's more of like a rust. Orange compared to a bright orange. Rust orange? Yes, that's what I'm going to call a it. Thing? Yeah. This is a rusty orange. This is a bright orange. Okay. But then black. Hopefully, that's coming through on camera. It's not a huge difference. <laughs> no. What else under the under the glass here? Oh, Which... but what about the? Oh, para? yeah. Okay, so Actually, I've got the teal pair of military two and S90V. That one's a distributor exclusive from one of the companies I work with. Yeah. yeah. Um, just got those in last week. I go for 165 bucks or so. And yeah, it's cheaper than the standard paramilitary two for S90 Vs. Pretty cool. nice. Yeah, definitely a premium steel. And those are Colorado, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. They're made. Yeah, yeah. Somebody I just was talking to was going to Golden, Colorado, but. I realized they didn't know what Spider Co was, so I didn't keep going with that conversation. Oh, somebody, somebody outside the knife world. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's like Tiffany Blue is what it is in like women's world. I wouldn't know. That's Tiffany Blue. It's like the B Tiffany Blue box. That's what you're supposed to get your like significant other. Gotcha. Or the you can get her this. I'm trying to look at something else and you're still talking about, you don't even want that knife. It's too big. I know. If it was a, like a pair of three, I'd be in it. I'm looking at that exo set back there, the yeah. tan and black. Oh, yeah. It's not my favorite blade style, but I love that color combo. Yeah. It's actually more of a gold sheen to it. Yeah. And then the Stormtrooper one. Oh. With your Star Wars Star collection. Star Wars theme. Yeah. Here, I'll switch, uh -huh. switch places here. You see more. Oh, I see some okay. Kaisers. Oh, there we go. Hogue. Yeah. I mm -hmm. forgot they have OTFs. Yes. Do you know what those sell for offhand? Uh, I did a little check on those. I want to say I've got the Counter Strike. I say those are around 400. Mm -hmm. Those wow. are signature series. Yeah. That is really nice. It's so thin. It's slim, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a. It's average or even longer blade yeah. blade length. Well, it's like an Ultra Tech. Yeah. But I love that carbon fiber and blue hardware. Yeah. It's really nice. It probably has better action than a, than what? An ultra tech. You think? Yeah, it actually mm. does. <laughs> okay. So we got some of the tactile Mavericks. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah same, it's the same brand that does, brand that does the pens. The pens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing knives. I'm surprised you. Have you handled these? Yeah, we did at the at Blade Show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if you handled it. Yeah. I, I liked the other one. What's the other one called? The Rock. Rock. Rock, wall. rock, rock wall? wall. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah, I haven't gotten any of those in yet. But. Those are neat. I like those. Ooh, and what do you got here? That is one of my personal knives. That's a no, magnet cut factor. We've seen one of these. Yes, I think yeah. we handled what's one the, of these. Well, what's, of the, what's the gimmick on this knife? So the whole thing is ran by magnets. The yeah. Detent and everything, so. It's so crazy. See our video on one of these. We check it out. The action on these things is insane. It's yeah. so crazy. They look pretty right. unique. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that of design. That, uh, design yeah, theme. yeah. They think they're doing a batch three of those. I don't know if they've already done their pre-orders or not, but they had a kind of a textured milling to the handle on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you said that you got a few people wanting these. Had a lot, yeah. <laughs> I got bombarded yeah. with requests for those. So. Yeah. What were they selling for? So I had the, the standard ones go for three seventy five. Oh and wow. Then, okay. Yeah, and the cut ones are a little more. Huh. That is for awesome. something as unique. I mean, at least yeah. it's it's not. It's something fun and different. It's not completely unachievable price wise. All right. Yeah. And you said, um, or did we? Th those are Best Tech, right? Yes. Best Tech that produces those. Uh, yeah. Yep. Also, yeah. Best Tech do. The OEM for my knife design Ooh. is the EDZ. So Not the EDC, the but the EDZ. Yep. Okay. Yeah. How did That's... you come up with that name? Uh, it's just my initials. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's original. Yeah. Nice. Kind of play on words. 
Uh-huh. Then you'll have to do like your whole family, like all of your family members. <laughs> is this your first uh, of your own designs? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that is really fun. Well, and I like all of the jumping because you can grab whatever spot you want. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go for just as many oh, wow. deployment methods as you could think of. Very nice. That is cool. Um, when and, is that coming out? Yeah, not available yet. So should be getting those in probably about six weeks. Um, okay. And then start shipping from there. But Depending we'll on when you're that. watching, they might be available. And oh, are they going to be colors or? Yeah, so I have the standard titanium, just plain titanium, and then I'm going to have a blue and a bronze. And mm-hmm. those are kind of going to have a stone wash finish to them. Nice. Um, All right. Yeah. But, yep, selling those for 310, and those are going to be in Van Axe. Yeah, oh, you don't see too much okay. of that. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, that's um, neat. I don't know if we mentioned it too much yet, but Eric does have the website that you do a lot of business through. Yep. Uh-huh. We're going to have indianaknives.com is my main website. I do all my manual folding knives on there. And then I also, a couple months ago, started indianaautoknives.com. Oh, I don't think we've looked at that. Yep. And it's just a separate site for all my automatic knives. It's yeah. just different rules that go along with it. So okay. it's yep. easier to make two sites than try and combine them into one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have mm-hmm. to ask, what is the one in the box back there? Box. Oh yeah, that one's a good one. What so, is that? That is from Chapman Lake Knives. Wait, from what? Chapman Lake Knives. I don't. I picked I this one familiar. up at uh, the Nashville Custom Knife Show. I was talking, uh, talking to uh-huh. them and had never seen them before, and got to talking, and they said, "Yeah, we're out of Bloomington, Indiana." I was like, "No way!" What? And so how did uh, how did we not know about I this know. either? Yeah. Yep. They're they're fairly new. Okay, um, all right. I think they. Yeah, made in Bloomington, Indiana, USA. Interesting. Is this one for sale? Yeah, I have those for sale. There are 400 on those. Okay. That I is think they have a background in like medical equipment type huh. stuff, and then they started this on the side. Yeah, I love that anodization on it. And you've got these on the website? Yes. Huh. Wow, that's impressive. That is really neat. A nice that's, local company, too. That's the action. It's good. It's like you. there's a flipper and button use the button as well mm-hmm. yeah for for deployment frankie uses the i do sometimes a button lock as the deployment you can i know <laughs> i mean yeah. i don't think that's what it's meant for but no but except on the civivi elementum yeah the that's one. where i started doing that because yeah. that was the only way to do it i don't know if this is going to make the video whatever <laughs> oh yeah, i see yeah cool i see an indiana knives exclusive or what is that it's a protec emerson yeah that one was just a one I have for display. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Here's the wrong one. This one? Um, the one, yeah, yeah there, right there, there. Yeah. yeah. Hard to say. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, that one's just one that they gave me whenever I became a dealer with them, so I just oh, kind of keep it out for display. Mm-hmm. I actually had them make the uh, ProTech Magic and have them put my logo on it. This oh, is, oh, this is yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. I carry that one quite a bit, so they just uh-huh. did that same logo right there. I love that. It says the unique, um, you wouldn't uh-huh. know how to deploy it uh-huh. if you were just... It's magic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think yep. we have a video on that. Yeah. Probably my favorite knife. It really is cool. Yeah. Just the right size. Uh-huh. And, it's, and it's got this is how you... Tip. Yeah, the mechanism, you just slide uh-huh. the scale up but slightly. But it is magic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right. I like that two-tone one. Ours is just all black. It's really boring. Yeah, we do have one. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's move on here. We got okay, the whole okay. store to look at. I know. Okay. Frankie could spend all day in here, I'm sure. Do you want to just go Actually, behind here? I could, too. What is behind us here? Some spider coops. Yeah. What do now, we got here? You were, wanting, you were looking at the website wanting to look at yeah, a model specifically in hand, okay. right? Well, I wanted to see... Because I have the Spy Opera. I wanted to look at it in the fancy edition. That's the fancy edition? No, this is the regular edition. Oh. Does this yeah, is the so slum edition. The slum edition? Yes. Ooh, there we oh, go. Oh, okay. He does have it. Look at that. This is the one we drove three hours to check out. Oh, I was just <laughs> curious of what he looked like in real life. Because, yeah. So, we got ours via going gear, wasn't it? And look at that. Mine's a completely different, like... It's changed color a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they all vary a little bit. Like yeah, we got ours minus. via Going Gear, and she claimed it mm-hmm. right away and has loved it ever since. Yeah. <laughs> What's the price on your uh, on the special one here? 
Uh, I think those are 406. Wow. Yeah, that is really cool though. They are nice. It's and pretty. Are they made in Italy because it's lion steel? Yep. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is really Okay. And a mask. There's a whole <laughs> bench made. Oh, here, yeah. Let's wall see. of knives. Okay, I'm seeing bug outs, 940s. What else? Is it Adamas? Oh, yeah. And the mini Adamas. I don't know if we ever had one of those or not. Yeah, we have the mini. We do have it? Yeah. See, do. this is embarrassing because we have knives she's telling me about that, that I'm not even aware of. We do sell the occasional knife too. No, we by the still way. have this one. Yeah. It came with extra scales too. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm remembering. Yeah. They're um, neat looking. I like them. They're very chunky, but I like them. The Griptilian. What was huh? this model again? The Crooked River. Oh, Crooked yeah. River. Yeah. And then mini Crooked River. The full size and the mini. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember what those are selling for? I believe those are around 270 depending on which one you get. I think the okay. uh, full size one is a little bit more than the buckets. Maybe, but... And then these are the new ones. Oh. What are these called? I wanted to call Aren't them. Aren't they autos with an access lock? No, there's two options of them. There's an auto and an access lock one. That one's manual. I really wanted to call this the infidel. Infidelity? Infidelity, Infidelity. I think is what you call them. Yeah. yeah. No, nice. it's the, what is that one called? The Immunity? Immunity, that's it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those are the full Immunities. They haven't came out with the auto versions of them yet, so those are the manuals. Yeah. Those but are, I'm, not, I'm not wrong. Isn't there an auto? Yeah, of the same Of one. that same mm -hmm. knife, right? Yep. They did a bunch of different versions of them. Yeah. With yeah. different um, blade There's shapes different and different colors. On, um, yeah. I think there's a sub-two-inch model. Yeah, maybe a California like a, one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And that green is a lot brighter than I thought that it was going to be, too, compared to... Which one do you like more? I probably like this one more. Yeah. Honestly. And it, no, I think we saw these in SHOT Show last year, I want to say. Yeah. And they come with the beads and everything, too. I want to say. All right. Other than that, we've got the mini Claymore, which just came out a little while ago. Oh, the Claymore, yeah. Small yeah. version. Yeah. Um, price? Do we know that? I think those are 180. Yeah. Okay. That is, oh, that's I love the right. name. And then it has the Morse code on it, too. Yeah. Here, show that so everybody can see. Front towards enemy. I think that's yes. Right. That's right. Yeah. So, I remember that. Uh, not everybody's going to know what a Claymore is, but search that. And uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's an appropriate name, I guess, for a tactical knife. Okay. Those are really neat. Sorry, that was a 207. Okay. Anymore. Those fit my hand really nicely. I could see that being your style of knife. Yeah, it really is nice. Yeah. That's a cool little knife. Okay. Is there a whole other um, collection of bench maids on the other side? There's a few. Oh, yeah. some fixed blades. I haven't filled it up yet. <laughs> yeah. All right, there's more of the, that is the same, uh, the shootout, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't really, sorry. Yeah, the whole thing's done. <laughs> we're going to need this for our house. This is what we're going to end up leaving with. The whole container? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Sure. <laughs> Give us a package deal. Just the, uh, All of it? The case with yeah. every knife in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's move on. We still have a bunch to look okay, at. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing more spider Spydercos. Mm -hmm. And actually a lot more spider Spydercos. Yes. What should we look at? I'm seeing models that we have. Uh -huh. What's this, um, what was the green and black scales, the stripe? The yellow and black one? That's or is it yellow? Caribbean. Caribbean. Caribbean, okay, I'm looking through yeah. the camera. It looked green, <laughs> it looked green. Okay. Yeah, they have a leaf shape blade for those and then also that kind of sheep's foot. Yeah. It's a test, you need to know every knife name. Shoot, I'm getting worse at this. That's the <laughs> subvert back yes. there, right? Yep. And then Spidey yeah. Chef, pair of two. Spidey Chef. Or I think they're, I can't remember if they're doing another version of that um, coming out soon or not. I want to say those were a little over 300. Yeah, they were kind of more expensive. Sounds about right. Yeah, they're yeah. a little on the higher end. Or that's what they used to be. I don't mm -hmm. know what's changed, but let me show you places. Okay. Do you like the Manix 2 in the teal? I do. 
Yes, you should how have much? got that at shop, uh, Blade Show. It was such a good deal. Eric, how much are you selling that? Uh, the teal, the Manics teal Manix. Yeah, I think yeah. that one's inspired twenty-seven. Yeah, um, I do map pricing on everything, so anywhere you look, they're all all the same price. But I think that one's around forty. Yeah, I'll accept a double check. Wait, how much? We bought them. How much? Because uh, you know what, on Blade Show they do all of those mixed matched ones with like their sale ones. Those were going for like seventy eight dollars. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so you up. said no. Uh, one sixty nine forty. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to remember them all because they all end in odd numbers and stuff. Yeah, I know we should have bought it, but there's a lot of knives we should have bought. I know, I know. Yeah, I picked up some factory seconds. Yeah, that's maybe that's yeah crew, factory seconds. Crew yeah, wear uh, PM twos at the Nashville Custom Knife Show, or maybe it was. Yeah, I think it was Nashville, but. Uh -huh. What is that model ZT there? It's the carbon fiber with the blue. Maybe let's check yeah, that it's out. Yeah, 762, I believe. Have we ever looked at one of those? I don't know. Oh, that nice. is nice. Yeah. It's a huh. frame lock. Is there... Yeah, why don't you have this knife? I don't know. Let me see. There you go. That is really nice. It's a flipper. Why don't you have it? That's one that I would carry. Mm -hmm. It's slim. Yeah, it really is. And I, I like don't the, think uh, I've ever handled those right there, too. The... Slip joints? Yeah. I'll hand that back to you. I like the slimmer mm -hmm. knives for uh, when we're in the summertime carry. I like slip joints. Even though I don't really like slip joints, but I like the looks of these ones. Isn't that nice? You want that to be a locking knife, yes. but otherwise you love it, right? Yeah. yeah. But that is a great little knife. I love the blue with I carbon fiber. Too. Yeah, that's really nice. Over here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And surprisingly, the 22 is too small. The 22, mm -hmm. which one? It is a tiny little knife. It's oh, got yeah. Two finger. Yeah. Let me For show me, everybody it's here. It's actually too small. Which is yeah. crazy to think about. Okay. And then there's mm, some Demco, the 20.5s. Yep. And then the, uh, let's see. Yeah, you got some different varieties of those. Yeah, so there's the more like plastic handled versions, and then there's the G10 and carbon fiber versions. Yeah. So these are an OS 10A, and then these are S35 VN. What's an OS 10A model go for? Those are 150, and then okay. the more premium versions are 250, and then the carbon fiber is 265. Yeah, mm -hmm. we got a couple. I, I'm almost positive we have videos on them, mm -hmm. but it's a very fun knife. Yeah. Very, um, well, it's a sturdy construction, sturdy design, but it's extremely <laughs> fidgety at the same time. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yep, I've got one of the orange ones that I kind of take yeah. to go camping and stuff just so I don't lose it. <laughs> yeah, we've got an orange one as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, don't take a green knife camping. You might lose it. It was tan, the one that we lost. <laughs> yeah. But we yeah. found it. It was down here somewhere. A week later, yeah, yeah, we came down here and lost a knife and had to come back to find it. Mm -hmm. The Chaparral is one that I had to buy another one of. I lost... Oh, the lightweight awesome. one for a while, and I uh, missed it enough that I got another one, and then I found the old one. So. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, I've got two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the carbon fiber one's really nice. I think this is the one we have. Oh, yeah, you have one of those seven, ones. Oh, I know you're going to like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one's always neat. What's the What's the theme on that? Is there... Sun and moon. Sun and moon? Mm hmm Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Those well, there's neat. too much to look at. This video is going to be. I'm surprised you still have those because those were hard to find for a while there. It, really <laughs> yeah, it kind of goes and runs whenever I make batches of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've also got the little little native oh, horn clip. That's cute. Okay. Why does that look like that's uh, cold steel? There's a cold oh, steel that has yeah. that same shape. Um, it... uh, yeah, I'm drawing a blank on that one. Somebody else say it in comments. Yeah, it does. Um, I know it on. Yeah, yeah but... anyway, it's got that same style. But yeah. that. That is a cute little it has thing. Has a different lock mechanism because the cold steel is the uh, is a back lock. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Or the triad as they call it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. That is cute. All right. Um, what else here? Oh, what is this one with the the Damascus in the front? The front. That's the urban. It's another slip joint. Oh right. You're looking at all the slip joints. I know, but look, it's really pretty. Let's um let's get a close up of that blade. It's, yeah, look at it's that. a more subtle style. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that was a sprint run they did a little while back. I think those are 280. Okay. That is neat. Oh no, I like that beige too. 
or like off white. Yeah. Okay. And well, I, always I was just saying, Frankie, this video is going to be that? like, it's going to be like four hours long. We've got to keep moving. Okay. Here. Okay. Yeah. We're at 30 minutes right now. Eric, what's your favorite Spyderco? Probably oh. Chaparral. Really? Okay. Yeah. I just like how thin it is. Oh, it's yeah. just one of the best cutting knives I have just from the thinness of it. And you can carry it and don't even know it's in your pocket. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. true. This time of year, that's nice. Yeah. Like that one in the Sage 5, I uh, like for... A compression lock. Oh yeah, I think I know. Which Very cool. Part. And what is this one up in the front here? That's the Natrix? The Native? Native, that's it. What did you Na call it? Natrix. <laughs> the Natrix, not even yeah. the Matrix, but the Natrix. <laughs> yeah. LC200N. Yeah, that's, that's the, um, well, it's super, more rust resistant, yeah. super stainless, right? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to super say. Super rust resistant. Yeah. This is what I need, actually. I like how it's gold on the inside of the the screw screw wells. The hardware. Is that what you would call it? Screw holes. The receivers. <laughs> you look at the uh, little poachy and the. Oh, McBee. the poachy. We have the McB. Yeah. In fact, we just talked to. Yeah, it's not really a flipper as more as it's I'm just like that on my thumb instead. Yeah, this is smaller than I thought it was going to be too. Why in the pictures it looks so much bigger than it is? Here, show everybody. That's a pretty crazy oh, design. I wanted to try to get it out, but no. What do these sell for? The poachies. Let's see. See, it's a dog with his little <laughs> Those are 231 now. Oh, well, wow. okay. Price change on those. Did it go down in price? It did not. <laughs> <laughs> because they were really expensive to start with, it seemed like, too. I don't think any knife I've sold has gone down in price oh. since I started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, but look at it compared to the McB. Talk about, oh my gosh. This Frankie is, has one of these. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the same size. Yeah. Interesting. All right. That is, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not crazy it's, about that yeah, design. It's, yeah. it's going to be a love it or hate it style. Yeah, it really I, I kind of hate it. I just like You kind of hate it? I kind of hate it. I'm not, so not going to let you even uh, consider buying that. Oh, one. thanks. Yeah. I just like because the... I have to go everything what you say. Here's the thing. These days, if you haven't noticed, I like knives that you buy yeah. that I will actually carry as I well. I know you do too. Yeah. I All right, let's know. get away from this case though. There's too what? much. Okay, We're going to spend fine. too much time. Okay. We talked okay, about else? we talked about the Wicked Edge. Okay, let's go behind you. Yeah, back here. I was afraid to step back and trip over this whole thing. Uh -huh. That would be you. You'd just fall over. Okay, some Kershaw's. Eric, how do you pronounce this on this Chinese brand? It's not Reich. I've never said it right. Rulai. It's well, Rulai. Probably it's like Rick. 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 That's right. I think it is. Yeah. 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 It's uh, one of the budget folding folding knife brands out of China. Yeah. For the for the money for sub fifty dollar knife, the P eight hundred one is probably low. You want to have to say real quick. So this is a real steel. Uh, Terra? Yeah. Is that what this one is? I think that's the G slip. G slip. Maybe I think I'm G slip. <sighs> okay. Anyways, what I was going to say is that it's an O step hell design. Oh, we just talked to him. Yes. And what's neat about O step and me is that we have the same size hands. <laughs> so he's got <laughs> tiny hands. Yes, as well. he does. Yeah, yeah. So all of his knives that he designs fit me really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I did a few exclusives with him on the uh, metamorph. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was really funny because we have a picture of me with his, my hands, with his hands. Hand to hand. Uh-huh. Not combat, but... Um, hand to hand. Steel Will. I think I could take him. You think so? <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't see this. Steel Will. We've got yeah. a few of those. We had a, a little phase of that, mm -hmm. that brand. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with the price of the steel. You know, bills. the prices actually look like they're really good. Sen cut prices. Mm -hmm. They're even low for a Civivi right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, they really are good. Kaiser Dukes. Oh, there was a Kaiser Dukes there. I was gonna uh -huh. say I don't see one. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys can still find one, get one because they're an awesome knife. It's got a huge flipper tab. Mm -hmm. but I always loved it. Yeah. It was, it was a huge flipper tab, but a strong detent, so it was a good combo. Oh, 
Okay, what's back here? Oh, open else. Yes. There's Where's the huge one? He doesn't have it, I don't think. Here. Yeah, I've tried to find them with my distributor and then we'll get them in a while. But... Yeah, what about this one? I'm talking, I don't know, they're like a foot long with a massive... <laughs> What about this one? Massive blade. What's this that? This one's cute. Yeah. It's a number three. So there's a smaller one than this? And a number two, I see. Yeah. Aww. Some little keychain on Number here. two. Nice. What do those sell for? Um, Nine dollars. Ten bucks or so. Yeah. Yeah, I had these little, little guys. Keychain. Oh, there they are. Those are cool. <laughs> here, sh let's show everybody that. Let's show this everybody. would be a good Felix knife. For a dog? Yeah. He can wear it around his neck. Exactly perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Him and his Microtech chain. Yeah. Okay, that is really cute. <laughs> this video is going to be really long. Okay, fine. No, I'm just saying. You don't want to just shut up with this? What else is over here? Oh, one of the banners. We need, we need like some of these brand mm -hmm. banners we do. in our knife room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing a new bench made glass display. Oh, cool. More open okay, owls. A couple more steel, steel wells. Well. Yeah. Actually, these are, this is one we don't have. That's a different one. The Nutcracker. All right. I like the blue barrel spacers. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one's, it's kind of hefty. A little bit thicker. Yeah. Did you see a price on that? Was it? What's that, that one? That one's... De Six is one ten. One ten, okay. okay, yeah. This one's sixty-seven. This one is this the Sargus? Yeah. That's kinda of neat too. Fifty bucks. And you sell oh. everything in the store you sell on the website? Uh pretty well. Some of the stuff that's under seventy five bucks or so is not on the website just because I do free shipping for everything and shipping is eats up any profit margins left. Oh, oh gotcha. What is that? A fillet knife. It is a fillet knife. Hmm. Hmm. I had a Finland, like Kimmy. Frankie's favorite driver. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be familiar with Kimmy? Okay. Everybody loves Kimmy. I don't know. Um, some kitchen knives. Wow. Okay. Well, that's yeah. a good once over. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Oh, and look, here's some KPL underneath here, too. Oh. Knife pivot lube. Somebody was saying that uh, this stuff was trash and to stick with gunny lube, I think is what it was. <laughs> you want I think, something. I think everybody has like their different take on it. And if so, it's like they're really hardcore one way or the other. <laughs> you want to stick with. It for, I don't know, three years or so now. Mm -hmm. I have the same bottle of it. You can't read the label on it anymore, but. I've used maybe half of it, and I use it all the time. Yeah, you, uh, it goes for a really long time. You don't need much. If you're using it right, you don't need much. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What was this Kershaw over here that's catching my eye? I see the, uh, iri the Iridium that we just did a video on. Uh -huh. But just below that, what's that? Yeah, let's see. Like the, front the 2039. Is the model <laughs> number. <laughs> Okay, that is kind of, it's kind of cool. What's the mechanism? It's just a... Frame lock? Yeah, frame lock. Uh -huh. Oh, well, what's the black bar? It's just for looks. <laughs> I don't know if it works as a stop pin or not. Yeah, I think it might. Yeah. It's got to have a function. Mm -hmm. I think it does. Style. Um, did you say a price on it? Those are around 70 bucks or so. Okay. I don't know if I have those on my website, but I've got the uh, launchers as well. Oh, wow. Those are a pretty good deal Wait, what is for this one? They are. It's uh, the Launch 11, I believe. Oh, it's right. Cut. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. They managed to get Magna Cut, huh? Yep. We were just talking to somebody, well, probably more than a mm, few people, oh, yeah, that everybody. mentioned Magna Cut is really hard to get right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is neat. Sorry, that's the Launch 15. 15, yep, okay. They're around 150 bucks. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. Launch 15 out of the series. I want to yeah. say they go up to uh, 72, something like that, 73. Oh, different, of the different launch models numbers? of the launch oh, series. I get, I just, get your joke. Sorry, yeah, yeah, was, no. I was slow. To no, it just seemed joke. like once they started making them, they kept going yeah. and going and going. And they just have like a little bit difference. Oh, you know what's interesting? Look, it's the Micarta backspacer too. Yeah. 
don't think I've seen the, a lot, but matches the scale it. inlay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're at forty minutes. <laughs> forty minutes. Yeah. Oh let's, my gosh. Let's keep this uh, reasonable to watch. Everybody. <laughs> Frankie, if you're still here, give us a thumbs up. Eric, uh -huh. give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Here, look, you need this ZT shirt. I do. What size is it? I don't know. I actually worked my way down to a medium. Pre-shrunk cotton. It's a large. Pre-shrunk large. Maybe that'll work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much Kershaw t-shirts? <laughs> oh, there's more. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right, cool. Well, if you're in the area, let's say within three hours, Frankie, mm -hmm. Something that like was that. A little, um, yeah, with a couple of stops. Yeah, it, it was, was a little further away than I thought. <laughs> three hours. Yeah, if you're within the area, you should stop in. Yeah. Otherwise, check out the website. Yeah, exactly. We'll put links for that. Eric, thanks a lot for showing us around. I yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah, we'll see what, um, we'll have to update everybody what we actually leave with because mm -hmm. we're probably going to have to get something. Right. And since it's officially Frankie's birthday, She's gonna get to choose what she wants. Today is your birthday? Yes, it is. Yeah, but no, I don't want anybody. No, don't... it's my birthday. No, no, no. I don't want anybody wishing you happy birthday because they've already been wishing you happy birthday oh. all month long thinking yeah, it they was. Should celebrate my birthday okay. all month long also. Fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she'll get her choice today. So, uh -huh. all right, no, that's everything. Eric, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Before we forget, Frankie, what do you have here? I have 20 bird drawings. Okay, you're gonna leave them with Eric? Yes, the first 20 people that request one on the website or in person gets one. Yeah, you could pick one up in the store if uh -huh. you're nearby. Um, check that out. Yep. S super secret, we're gonna put this at the end of the video so exactly. not everybody's gonna know about it. Uh -huh. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye.